Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today I am talking about my top bra sewing tips. All right, so last time I went through how I mocked up a bra and I gave all my tips and tricks for mocking up and actually showed you my process. But there were a few things that I wanted to add to that in just general bra sewing tips and tricks. Now I said this last video and I'm gonna say it again in case you didn't didn't believe it, didn't hear it, didn't watch the video, whatever. Bra fitting is not an exact science. Every body is different, every shape is different, and that's what makes this beautiful. So don't get hung up on numbers, just just take time, take patience, and, and be gentle with yourself. If you feel like you should be a certain measurement or whatever, just be cool with where your body is right now. And if it takes you a couple of practices to get a bra that fits properly, that's okay. You are not alone. All right, tip number one. Now, most of us are familiar with the idea, at least if we've never done it, we understand that oftentimes people will take tracing paper and trace out the pattern piece that they need in the size that they need so that they can leave the rest of the pattern untouched so that all the information is intact for future use. I feel like having that information intact with bras is even more important than than anything else because if there's a garment you're probably going to sew over and over again it's going to be underwear and bras but i do not use tracing paper for this because the fantastic thing about bras is pretty much all of the pieces are small enough to fit in a photocopier so what i do is i rough cut my pieces out that i so that i have all of the sizes all of the information around a particular piece then when I go to make my bra, I photocopy the pieces that I need. So these are the pieces for just the foam cup that come with my pattern and they have all the sizes on there. Now, even this really long piece, if I'm really careful about how I position it, it will fit on an eight and a half by 11 regular sheet of paper. There are some pieces that you might have to move to a legal length of paper, which I think is like eight and a half by 14, maybe. Um, but you can absolutely photocopy every piece that you need for a bra. If you don't have a photocopier, it's, it's an easy enough thing to take them to a copy center and then copy a few copies of each piece. Um, some of the smaller pieces, you can fit more than one on the bed of the photocopier, so you can photocopy more than one piece at a time. But that gives you your copies of the pieces and then you can just cut them to whatever size you need. So because I end up cutting all of my pieces apart, I make sure that I store them all together in an envelope. And this envelope is big enough that I can fit the instructions for my pattern with them. And this image and title, I was able to just cut right out of the pattern itself. One more note on organization. I'm somebody, my weight fluctuates a lot. My bra size fluctuates a lot. It seems to be the first place if I lose or if I gain, that's where I'm going to see it. So after I sew my bra and I do all my adjustments on my mock-up, I will transfer those adjustments to my pattern piece so that I can just sew off of my pattern and I'm not going to have to do all of those fitting adjustments every time. I can just sew straight from my pattern. And then what I will do, because my weight fluctuates up and down throughout the year, is I will write my name, obviously, because I might sew a bra for somebody else, but I will also write what my weight was when I wore, where, when I made this bra. Next, do not trust that you remember your measurements. Measure every time, every time. Oh my gosh. And do your measurements however that pattern says you should do your measurements. We're probably all familiar with measuring the bust, measuring the rib cage, and then doing the math in between to figure out what bra cup you are. But these patterns, like the pinup girl ones from Beverly Johnson, she starts with a cup depth measurement. Um, so always measure yourself in however the pattern says you have to measure yourself and measure yourself every time. Next up is fabric and notions. All right, we don't wanna ever waste our pretty bra fabric. It's some of the most expensive fabric I buy, honestly. And I'm fine with that because I wear these garments a lot. You know, it's not like I'm gonna feel bad spending money on something and only wearing it a handful of times. I literally wear these every day. So if I'm gonna spend money, it's gonna be here. But where I don't wanna spend money over and over again is on the elastics that I use to do my mock-ups. So I have a sacrificial set 
of, of my closures, of my elastics, of everything. This is the mock-up bra I did last time. You can see that I have all of my elastics are hanging off here because I don't want to cut any of them to size so that I can't, you know, fit them on another bra later that I mock up. And so I try not to cut them and I use them again and again and again until they disintegrate and they're not useful for anything and then probably my kids will craft with them. But I can unpick these a ton of times before I would ever have to replace them. Next tip, I'm not gonna number them because I don't remember what number we're on, and that is when you sew a practice cup, check that it fits on both sides because we're different sizes on both sides. You are not alone. Mother Nature, she's not super keen on symmetry. So one side, especially if you've ever nursed a child, you probably produced better on one side than another. It's because you got more tissue. It takes up more space. It's, it's the way our bodies are. Make sure that when you do your fitting of your practice cup, that it fits both sides and pay extra attention that it's gonna give you the coverage that you need on your larger side. Um, it, there is a potential that maybe you need to put a little bit of padding or something in your smaller side. That's definitely a thing people have to do. Um, so yeah, it's just another one of those things. Bodies are weird, man. We just gotta keep up with them. Fitting. When you do your mock-up, fit at every stage as best as you can. Uh, one of the things that I like to do, and I did show this in my other video, is I will take my practice cup and I will pin it to the underwire frame part of my best fitting bra so that I can actually put it on me. If your best fitting bra is way too small for you, it might not help, but if you have a bra that fits you pretty okay, it's super helpful to be able to pull that around. If not, you might need an extra set of hands. So, you know, grab that partner, grab that friend, this is, this is when you find out who your friends are. Can you help me fit my bra? Because what you're gonna find is it's helpful to have two hands here and two hands here. Next is if you are doing a bra pattern, um, such as this one that I'm working on, the Ruby, you're able to use it with and without um, underwire. Still put in your underwire casing. The reason that you want to do that is because when you get to your, I mean this is the foam, but when you get to the woven fabric, these edges, anything that's not right at the bottom, right at the top, or cut blunt on the sides, which mm, these don't really have blunt cuts on the sides, but this on a woven fabric is going to be bias cut and it will have a fair bit of stretch. So even if you're not going to put that underwire in, if the pattern calls for an underwire casing, still put that in because that's going to give you extra structure um, at the bottom of your cup and keep it from stretching out and the longevity of your bra is going to be a lot better. Now I did do a, a video on decoding underwire sizes and I'll link that below. Um, but one thing I didn't cover in it is what if you just have a really hard time finding an underwire that is the right shape for you? We know that we can get these printouts of all the different underwires so you can test them against your body, but you're not stuck with whatever size they will give you. If you can find an underwire that fits your curve, but is maybe still too tall, you can absolutely cut the underwire down. The thing, of course, that you have to be careful about is the pokey ends, right? Which are coated when you buy your underwires. So what can you do to protect yourself and your garment from those pokey edges biting through? There's a couple of things you can do. One is you can use a handle dip. So this is used for any tools, pliers, screwdrivers, wrenches, whatever. And you can dip the handle in and it gives you that rubber coating. You can find it at any hardware store and you can just dip your edge in after you've cut it, let it dry, and you'll have a nice coating. The other thing you can do, which I couldn't find any of in my garage, but I'm sure they're probably there somewhere because my husband has literally all of the things, is you can get um, little shrink wrap tubes that electricians use when they are splicing wires together. That's something you would just slide on and you would apply heat and it would shrink up and cover that edge for you to give you some protection. Okay, note on stitching. Um, now, the bra cups are made up of several different pieces and there's corners everywhere. And sometimes when you're trying to sew right from a corner, things can get a little bit kind of jogged up in your sewing machine because it's hard to hold that fabric taut at the beginning of the seam. So what I recommend is actually if you have a notch, see there's a notch on this pattern. 
if I were to match up the notches, I would start sewing at that notch, sew all the way out to one side, then I would go back to that notch and sew all the way out to the other side. That's gonna make sure that your edges meet up nice and perfectly and you don't end up with any little folded bits. So there you go, those are my top bra sewing, bra fitting tips. Please be gentle with yourself. Like I said, it's not an exact science. It takes time to learn these skills. I hope that you will give making your own bra a try because it really is rewarding. Once you get that fit, oh, you never wanna go back to ready to wear, never. It just, it's too good. That's all I have for you this week. I hope that you had fun learning these tips and tricks and I will see you next time. Subscribe below. It's like my habit now. I don't ever remember that until I already say goodbye. Subscribe. See you next time.